Previously on the art school. The cat problem has gotten out of hand. He shoots the cat's poop. I'm gonna destroy that thing right now. Run for your lives! Dan, why are you strapped to a rocket? The bus system is unreliable, so I asked Alex for help. Guys, this is Dave. It's a machine that can bring inanimate objects to life. I'm gonna cut your face off. Holy crap. This was divine intervention. Explosive burrito! my voice and where are we Daisy this does not look like my drawing class where are we girl Ian my name's not Daisy it's Frederick holy crap you can talk and you're a, a dude yes I go pee pee standing up we're here to meet a special friend of mine who like the king of the camels I'm not a camel I'm a mammal I know camels are mammals no, it's short for Mythical Camel, and we used to have a king until they started selling cigarettes. Mmm, <coughs> you can just feel the life drain right out of you. And about your voice. I'm sorry, but that happens sometimes when you cross through a portal to another dimension. I once had a voice like Morgan Freeman. Oh, that's unfortunate. Indeed. Ah, here we are. Whoa. Ah, Frederick, my dear old friend. Welcome. Whoa, who the thwomp are you? Oh, where are my manners? Don't be alarmed. You must be Ian the Human. Welcome to the seventh dimension. I am the ultimate rhombus, supervisor of space and time. <laughs> but you're a, a cube thing. Well, your species is facial hair. What's that for? Touche. So, uh, how did we get here? Well, that sword you have. The Explosive Burrito. The fourth dimensional sword is an object from your world's future. You acquired it from a very frightening place. Craigslist. And now that sword let you into this realm. Whoa. So what are all these screens? From here I keep the fabrics of space and time in alignment. These are all alternate universes. Think of the screens as locked doors into other worlds and that sword as a skeleton key. So why are we here? I presume Frederick brought you here, because all your friends are totes dead? What? No, Stephen and Alex are still alive. And I was just on my way to drawing class. Well, if they aren't already, they will be soon. Let's see. Holy crap. This was Divine Intervention. Do you know what divine intervention is? I I think so. That means that God... So, I can, if you like, transport you to an alternate universe. Really? Seriously? For real? Uh, yes. Is he okay? He's got the poo brain. Well, which universe would you like? There's the water is nacho cheese universe. Or the farting is a sign of affection universe. Well, Sally, do you take Bob to be your husband? Aww. Or the humans have wings universe. So I can fly? Well, they're pigeon-sized wings. Oh. The bacon cures cancer universe? That's one of my favorites. How about a universe where all my friends are still alive? Really? Okay, well, it seems the only universe where everyone is still alive is the Sagan and Kepler universe. The who and what Watterson? 
The only thing that makes this universe different from yours is that instead of Steven bringing Rocco to the dorm, he'll bring his other cat, Sagan and Kepler. Why does that matter? They're potty trained. Remember the machine Alex made that accidentally killed both Rocco and Taylor? That all happened because Rocco wasn't potty trained. Oh. And the massive damage to the dorm won't cause the art school to cut their budget and fire half of their bus staff. Is that why the bus system sucked potatoes? Precisely. Thus Alex won't create a giant rocket for Dan in which he was accidentally shot into space. Wow. So why not just send me to a universe where Alex goes to school somewhere else? What? We can't do that. He's the best character on the show. Huh? Nothing. So second in Kepler universe it is. All right, time to get the noun out of here. Thanks for everything, Rhombus. Hey, Frederick, you coming? Screw that. Wait, Rhombus, is there a Star Wars universe? Too late. Farewell, Ian the Human. Dang it! Holy crap. It worked! You guys are alive! Of course we're alive. How did you do that? Uh, I'm a magician. Yeah, a magician. Really? Can you do a trick for us? Like, say, uh, cut someone in half? Like, say, him? Who's that? He's our RA. He's made us listen to reggae for eight hours straight, and he won't leave. Hey, dude. You like Bob Marley, bro, Steve? Uh, not really. Hey, where's Steven? He's on his way back from visiting his parents. Really, bruh? He's like, opened my mind, you know? I, I like sitting around and thinking about life, you know? I mean, we're all just like, farts in the wind, dude. Yeah. Please saw him in half. And now, I will put him back together. And, uh... Hmm... Yeah, so I may not really be a magician. Yeah, we know. <laughs>